Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to a new set of videos here for Home Studio Trainer. We're going to be uh, going through a lot of the new features in Studio One Pro 7. And uh, I can't wait to show you some of this stuff. All right, so if you look here, this is going to be some of the new loop options and there are some really cool thing uh cool things happening here especially for those of us that are used to an old program and i do believe it's still around called acid pro where you used to just be able to bring in loops and stretch them and duplicate them and do whatever you want so they added some features here that i think are so awesome for working with loops and i'm going to show you uh, both of them all right, let me go to my notes here. All right, so the first one is going to be the loop tool for events and parts. So let's go here. Uh, if we go over here, here's a little song I put together. Now these uh, samples are uh, from a another option uh, called Splice in Studio One. There is a little bit of some free stuff for Splice, and, and if you want more, you got to pay for it. But um, I'll go into that in a separate video. So uh, you can see that all of these here are loops from Splice. Uh, these two are loops that I included. So the first thing is the loop tool. So if you actually look around right here where my mouse is, if I go to the lower right of any loop or sample, I can simply just, oops, where is it? There you go. Stretch it. Just for the, again, for those of you that used Acid Pro back in the day from Sonic Foundry, this is what you were able to do. So now the one thing to be aware of is if you use the tool like this, you cannot just select portions. It's going to actually select the entire range that you stretched. So like I can't choose the little loops here. So if I want to actually be able to choose the little loop parts, then I would actually go back to the uh, duplicate now where you hit the D key, just like that. And then you can choose the little parts like that. A lot of people were confused with that, some of the emails that I got. Uh, so if you go that, that's how you can do that. But again, oops, let's see here. If you decide to use the loop stretch tool, let me actually go, there we go. If you do decide to do it, just be aware. Okay, grab the lower right. You see how the icon looks. You just go ahead and you stretch it. Just like that. All right, so there's another one that I really like, and I'm going to use the uh, two uh, loops that I brought in to add to this. So let's go ahead and turn up the first one. It's an acoustic guitar. Just like that. So the other loop option is by right clicking, and depending on where your start and end markers are, if you right click on the loop, and you click the loop box, it actually will stretch it the entire distance from the start marker to the end marker, just like this. So here's how it sounds in the, in the uh, song. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this loop. This loop sounds like this. And I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select the loop box. If I play them together, They're not really in sync, but it gives you the, it gives you an idea as to how these are going to come together. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my fader port to balance them. Just like that. So like the stretching of the loops. 
if you want to go into certain parts and remove them, you can see that checking the loot box or just simply stretching does not give you the ability to go into the pieces like you would if you hit the D or the duplicate button or the, uh, the D key, the duplicate option. So you're going to have to decide how you want to do it. Do you want to just right click and duplicate it? The way that you can cut them out is you can go to the cut tool. You can go to, if you have it snapping, you can go to the areas that you want, go to the erase tool and then do it like that. So you do have options. If you use the loop option when you right click, or if you actually use the option to actually simply stretch. So in some cases, if you want to go back and you want to put these things into parts and be able to clip parts out, might be better to just keep using the D so that you can select individual parts. But if you're pretty sure you really want the whole thing stretched out, you can either stretch it with the loop tool or you can right click and click the loop box. Just like that. All right. So, I hope that those uh, options made sense. There are so many awesome features in Studio 1.7. I'm so glad I can finally get these things going. I got a whole bunch more videos to do and to catch up to a lot of the other content creators out there. So, I do appreciate you guys being patient with me on all of this. Things are going good here. I'm recovering. My wife comes home from the hospital tomorrow. So, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys. Thank you.